Olympic 1500 metre champion Jacob Ingebrigtsen has once again taken victory against an absolutely loaded field, this time in the USA, over 5000 metres on Saturday night. While no one was shocked to see him win the race in a time of 13 minutes and 2 seconds, the ease with which he closed out the race in 54 seconds showed that he's well and truly ready to get going once again this outdoor season. While the race seemed to be all about Jacob Ingebrigtsen, there were still a number of Americans who were keen to get the standard for the World Championships coming up in Oregon later in the year. The race was set up by Australian Olympic 1500 meter finalist Ollie Hoare when he was asked to go through the lap splits of 63 seconds. Like an absolute metronome, Ollie ticked off the laps 63, 63, 63, Ollie Hall took the field to 3,000 metres in a time of 7 minutes and 54 seconds and this is where the race just started to warm up and for the first time in the race we actually started to pay attention to where it was that Jacob was placed in the field and what he might do to the rest of the field in this latter part of the race. Not long after Oli Hoare finished his pacing duties at 3,000 metres, we quickly saw Muhammad Muhammad take up the pacing duties himself, gradually winding up those gears and trying to burn off any of that energy that might have the rest of the field who are sitting on his shoulders set to run past him in the latter parts of the race. With the final lap, it was clear that the race was going to be between Muhammad and Ingebrigtsen. And down the back street, Muhammad started to really try and make his move. However, like the champion that he is, Ingebrigtsen stayed right on his shoulder, relaxed, smooth, and ready to pounce. And then, with 100 metres to go, jumped around the outside and ran away from Muhammad. While the finishing time was nothing to write home about for an athlete of Ingebrigtsen's standard, the fact that he finished that final 400 metres with such ease in 54 seconds and looked as though he could barely blow out a candle at the end of the race suggests that this guy is ready to go come the Oregon World Championships in July. Despite the talent that exists in the middle distance, distance running scene right now, it's hard to imagine anyone being able to beat this guy over 1500 metres or 5000 metres. His times, his confidence and his ability to be able to race well each and every week has him lined up as the favorite for these two events. However, even with all of this said, you still need to execute on race day. And with the absolute depth of running quality from around the world right now, there's plenty of men who, if they have their best day, could perhaps run away with the title that he feels is his. I'm interested to know who you think will win the men's 1500 meters and 5000 meters at the World Championships in Oregon this year. Let me know in the comments below.